Macro photo looks so interesting because they have so much of detail in them. But have you ever tried shooting a macro video? It's even more amazing because you see tiny things in motion and it makes it really special. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can shoot some macro videos and make them look really beautiful. Watch the video right till the end and subscribe to the channel before we begin. Now to shoot a macro video, you'll definitely need a macro lens. I also suggest that you use a tripod. I'll give the link of both the products in the description below. We use a tripod so that you get a nice steady shot and you do not miss out on the focus. So now we are going to drop a discipline in this and take a shot in the normal video mode. Here we go. We are now going to take a slow motion shot to see how the shot looks. So let's try this. You will need a lot of light in a slow motion because it will cause flickering. And more and people, please do remember you can take this shot in the broad daylight. Since I am now in my studio and I have lost out on, on the daylight, I am shooting in the studio with the light. But the sun is very powerful to get these kind of shot. So you can go on a terrace or in a balcony and you know take these shots. There is so much of detail in nature. Have you ever seen a colony of ants move around, coordinate for food and other activities that they do? Let me take a shot of how it looks on a macro lens and we'll see how much fun it is to watch them. So look at this movement. Such beautiful movements that coordinating and running around. Let me see what happens if I take a slow motion. We need extra more light for slow motion of it and add a bit of noise. I'm going to experiment now by using the slow motion and see how it looks. We are going to pour coke into the glass. We saw the bubbles in the water with the discipline, but now we see them bubbling on the surface of the glass. Simply pour the coke into a clear glass and see the bubbling fizz. Also take a slow-mo shot to see even amazing details. So you can take a normal shot and also a slow motion. Now let's see how this looks. Now we're going to sprinkle some sugar on the biscuits and I'm going to lock the exposure also the focus so that there is no focus hunting and we'll take a shot by pressing a slow motion With macro the possibilities are endless it's only that you should have good eye for details if you shoot some macro videos and post them on Instagram, please don't forget to tag me. I would love to see them. The comment box is waiting and so is the subscribe button. So go ahead and put your comments, hit the subscribe button. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.